Special greetings to all of you from a blessed Elizabeth Sanna on this fourth day of Novena with the challenging theme, Widow and Bride of Jesus Christ. Of her seven children who died at a very young age, on January 25th, 1825, her <coughs> husband Antonio, attended by her, died young. Widowed with five children, the oldest being 17, the youngest, just three, she felt responsible not only for the administration of the house and land, but above all for their spiritual and temporal education. Maturing in her spiritual path, Elisabetta made a vow of chastity in 1829 with the permission of the Franciscan Lenten preacher, Father Luigi Paolo <coughs> da Plug. She asked her confessor to remind her often that she was a bride of Jesus Christ. You 
our God. We praise you because you are holy. And we thank you for dwelling in our hearts. Thank you for working in our lives. You guided us into salvation, renewed our dead spirit, and you opened our eyes to the truth.
God speaks to those who take time to listen. Now, let us listen to the God's words. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 5, verses 27 to 32. After this, he went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up, left everything, and followed him. Then Levi gave a banquet for him in his house. There was a large crowd of tax collectors and others sitting at the table with him. The Pharisees and their scribes were complaining to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but to those who are sick. I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners to repentance. When you discern firmly to live a clean life, chastity will not be a burden on you, but it will be a crown of triumph, says Josh Maria Iskrev. Good evening, dear father and my dear brothers. Good evening, Good evening brother. As we have heard in the introduction, the theme of this day is Elizabeth widow and bride of Christ. As we know that Elizabeth had a great desire to follow Jesus Christ and be a nun from her childhood onwards. But because of her crippled arms, she could not. The same love and desire which she had on Jesus Christ led her to take a vow of chastity. Elizabeth son of got a great vocation to follow Jesus by taking the vow of chastity. This is a stepping stone for her to live a holy life. We heard in the gospel the call of Levi, the tax collector. When Jesus called him, he got up and followed him. When Levi encountered Jesus, he made a great feast at his house, though the Pharisees and scribes saying that why Jesus dining with tax collectors and sinners. But Jesus answered, those who are well, no need of a physician, but those who are sick. In the gospel we can see Levi sitting at the tax booth. When Jesus called, we can see particular words in the gospel, Luke chapter 5, verses 28. The words are, rose and left, which means he left the old way of life and rose to a new way of living. Blessed Elbeth Sanna also rose to a new way of li living by taking the vow of chastity. <clears throat> Here we can ask a question, are we willing to commit ourselves to the vow of chastity? Chastity purifies ourselves and surrenders God completely. It's very difficult to keep chastity in this worldly temptation. But if we surrender ourselves to God, if we accept God, it is easy, it is possible. Chastity is a joyous affirmation of someone who knows how to live self-giving and free from any form of self-centered slavery. Chastity makes the personality harmonious, matures it, fills it 
with inner peace. Elizabeth went to Rome. There she met Vincent Pallotti. Elizabeth Anna gave herself totally to God in serving people along with Pallotti. When she made a vow of chastity, he requested, he asked her confessor to remind her that she is a bride of Christ. So that she may receive in her life Christ completely. Has she received Christ in her life? She doesn't want to keep herself only, but she wanted others to be received in order others to be holy. In this way, Elizabeth Sanna became Bride of Christ. Elizabeth Sanna helped Pallotti in collaborating with the people, serving them, helping them in all the way possible along with Pallotti. Here also we can ask a question, how are we receiving Christ? If so, if we are receiving Christ, how are we giving to others? By taking the example of Blessed Elbesana, let us also give Christ to others, those who don't get the opportunity to receive Christ in their daily life, so that they may live holy life. Amen. Let us all stand and take page number two for the Novena prayer. <coughs> o Lord, you, you who consoled me of the death of Joseph, and Let us put forth our intercessory prayers. 
through the intercession of blessed Elizabeth Sama. Lord, our loving Father, we pray for all the widows in the world. Lord, give them the grace and blessing to live their life independently on others and dependently on you with love, trust and obedience like that of Blessed Elizabeth Sana. Your response, through the intercession of Blessed Elizabeth Sana, Lord, hear our prayer. Through the intercession of Blessed Elizabeth Sana, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all the brides. Give them the heart of understanding and love. In a special way, we pray for all the barren women. Lord, bless their womb so that they may bear your church. They may bear your child. Your response? Through the intercession of Blessed Elizabeth Sana, Lord, hear our prayer. Through the intercession of Blessed Elizabeth Sana, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us take prayer for the 22nd General Assembly. O God, in the love, save me so thoroughly, moon by the love of best love, gave himself completely, so that throughout the world, faith and charity grow to grow. I pray to you, O God, and I pray, as a society of the Catholic Apostolate, to pray for the 22nd General Assembly, in the name of your heart and purpose, in these times of great unhealthy, of love and unfortunately, of the apostolate, for the society is living in the particular of the new situation. Strengthen our faith and Christ's eyes, oppose our faith and God our Father, and the Lord and the Holy Universal Savior. Send the light of the Holy Spirit, and bless us in our weakness, and make us the side of your inspiration so that we may discern the truth from the false and do your will in all things. Teach us to in our arms to all those for whom the society, more by compassion, fulfills its mission to revive faith and rebuild the society and to respond courageously to the challenges of the new times. Lord, in your providence, you guide us in recent poverty for the common society and the union of the Catholic we ask you to take care of them, now we are going to our heart, our mind, and our spirit. May we have all one of you, who will know the next time now, so that we may have a little good, and be able to follow it from constancy and faith. We ask you to take the session of Mary, with the Holy Apostles, of our Holy Fathers, in the same quality, of our Jesus and Mothers, and of the Blessed Elizabeth of Sanam, who have already gone to your face. Amen. Amen. In this special moment, let us pray for our personal intelligence. <coughs> let us sum up our prayers and petitions and kneel and say our Lord's prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it has not temptation, Amen. 